Hello everyone! Julia is here. I am very glad to see you today. Thank you for watching and drawing with me and sending your beautiful artworks. They are amazing. And today we will continue creating our quiet book and drawing adventures of the cute park. So, what you will need today? Today you will need two pieces of paper, glue stick, rubber, ruler, scissors and something to color with. It could be pencils, markers, paints, crayons, whatever you have at home. So let's start and create some magic. So guys, here is our pug who has just had his lunch and he uh, wants to have a nap. And we did it previous time and now we will see what is there behind the door. And we will create another room. Our pug will nap on his bed, cute bed, with his bow and he has a beautiful window here and a cupboard full of his toys, cute toys. So what he has here, he has hot dog, bone and different balls and even a cute picture we can create with his grandparents. So this is just a fantastic room to make and we will get two pages of our quiet book. So, first of all, please guys, cut out with scissors our Puggy and his bow from our first drawing of Pug and we will stick him here on our second page. And then we will take our first page, I have it right here, and we'll start creating the second one. So, Let's do some magic here. We will need to cut our pack, as I told you already, and then we'll need one piece of paper, uh, which will be our second page. So please fold the paper. You know already how to do it, right? And now we will design a room for our Puggy. So I must say he has a very sophisticated and beautiful house and we will get a beautiful quiet book. So we fold like this and then we will draw and stick it with the glue at the end. So first we need to find out where will be the door. It will be on the same place. So we just connect our pages and just I will take a pencil and just draw a line to show where our door is. So now I have this line here and what I will do I will do just I will cut I will cut here on this line like this. So I'm cutting Okay, perfect And now I will check how to fold it And I will fold it like this So I can take a ruler As you know already And we will just Fold it like this So now our room, we will draw this door from this side and then just connect them together and stick. So I will draw a door here and then do the same already we have done before. So I'm just drawing this line here to show that this is the door to the room where our Puggy decided to have a nap. So, and now I will just continue this line where I cut it. So I'm just drawing this line with a ruler. And I will also make a line here to show one centimeter, like, or you can just check with your previous page and make it just 
throwing it here to show our floor molding and then what I have to do is just to color it and this is the most exciting part just to color and then we will draw some stuff for our puggy to make his room really beautifully decorated so I'm drawing my doll with a brown pencil and I'm trying to keep the lines in one direction just doing like this if you need to correct something you can use rubber remember this so I'm trying not to press so much but you can create even patterns to show that this is a doll made of wood or maybe it's painted with paint maybe gray or maybe another color so this is absolutely <laughs> up to you I'm just making with the rays just to make it not so slightly lighter like this you have a soft rubber it will help a lot in this case to rub it out and then I will be coloring this light green like salad color lime color I would say lime green to separate the floor and the walls we are actually like working like architects or interior designers creating beautiful design for our puggy and I will use this purple for the floor and remember that you can use any color just as you wish and you create maybe even to draw a carpet on the floor maybe several carpets are lying on the floor so almost I almost finish with my floor and we go to the wall decoration I'm trying to keep the lines in one direction and you can create different patterns with different creations and this is absolutely great and remember if I'm too fast you can always pause the video take a break and then rewatch it and continue drawing it's absolutely fine and then just make it more even um, when you have softer rubber then it helps a lot in this case just to make it even or if you are using markers then you don't need to do this and they will be evenly colored so I will use oranges this time for my wallpapers wall paints so I'm coloring in orange this wall and you can put some dots maybe or stripes on your walls now Puggy would have a lovely room for napping and we will draw now a beautiful puppy's bed you know that our park could just have a nap so the room is ready and now we uh, we need some decorations here so we will decorate our room and prepare some beautiful um, toys for our park so first we need to cut out our park with the bow it's a second park let's do it so I just cut out my park and the bow and I will place him here but I first need to draw a bed for him so I will put aside my room and take another piece of paper and I'm just uh, will be using a 
a pack to understand um, the size of the bed which he is needed. So what I will be doing, I'm just will draw this line here and go here and it will be a soft bag and I will just rub it out if something goes not straight and then I need to put him in the bed so I'm just drawing like an oval a little bit squished all around the park so and now we'll continue this lines to show that he is lying here and now I will just use a marker in order you can see this lines better but you can use just a black pen or just pencil doesn't matter I'm doing it only that you can see on the screen it brighter yeah so it will be our bed and now we will draw some more stuff for our puggy and then we also first of all we need of course to color it and you can also decorate it uh, I will draw a bone because all parts like bones so and now I will create a bone just drawing it here in the middle somewhere in the middle white bone or a puggy well and now guys i will be coloring you can use any color i like blue so i will be just coloring it blue and it will be absolutely ready for cutting out but i will also draw i will be drawing a window now for a puck in order he can get some fresh air so this pen is ready already and now I will be doing a window so I will need a ruler here to create a window and I will use this right corner of my page and I will just make it like six centimeters you can make it a little bit longer but I will make it six and seven you can make it absolutely your own size it can be small it can be round whatever window you will decide to have I will just put some curtains on the window and we'll make a separate line here so And I will make curtains like this. So one curtain is ready, and I will draw a second one. And I will also show that bushes with flowers are growing outside and it's probably spring or maybe summertime now so it's beautiful weather the sun is shining and this is just fantastic isn't it guys that we are creating this beautiful atmosphere for our park and now I will just color my window with blue 
it will be just showing that this is the blue sky there that the sun is shining you can also draw some clouds or maybe sun and then i will be drawing coloring curtains i will use red but if you think that red is too bright you can use lighter colors maybe gray maybe brown or beige or maybe yellow maybe i will add some yellow you know i like to mix the colors and you can make it the same like to make it look more orange then you just mix colors with your pencils and you can do the same with your paints not always it is possible with the markers but the paints and pencils are working great so and now i will be coloring the bushes with the green flowers are growing there so I'm coloring them with red but you can color them pink or maybe even blue so so our window is ready and we can just cut it out with the bed and we'll create cupboard for toys and we will be drawing some toys as well so the window is ready just for sticking it and yeah so it's almost ready the window and now the bed here we go i'm just cutting following the black line but you can just leave some space it's up to you and this is absolutely fine so one part of our room is almost ready and we will just stick the bed of our park and the park here and the window and his bowl with water probably we'll have to drink water so dogs like to drink water as well so i'm just going to stick it with the glue and then continue creating couple of his toys and some decorations here so I'm just using a glue stick and you can use another glue but glue stick probably is the best for this here's our pod And now I will glue the window. So this part of the room is almost ready. It looks beautiful, guys. Look how beautiful and happy our pug is. And now we will make a small cupboard uh, with picture here and some toys so I will use this piece of paper I have here with the right uh, angle and I will just check if it's uh, I will be using like I think that six centimeters would be fine so I have six and a half here and I will make it 
maybe eight centimeters wide so and you can make your own size but, but um, just check that it fits um, just make sure that you can fit your cover between the door and this folding line so not too wide not too narrow and here so I'm just doing a rectangle here and then I'm cutting it out and folding and it will be ready so I will show you just I need a one rectangle so just cut it out and just uh, we will fold it like this and then I need to find a middle line here and make two doors so it will be like this and I will cut following this just line so now you can open it so I will just draw two knobs to make it handy to open and you can decorate it as whatever you wish it's up to you and I will just color it in several patterns so I'm drawing inside lines here just following the rectangle form so I'm just cutting it um, I'm just drawing it like this and creating the patterns inside the doors and you can do it as well if you wish if not it's absolutely fine so this is just about some decorations it's absolutely no, not necessary and now I will color it I will just color it with brown and light green yeah And then I will color it also inside, so I will just make it colorful in order to put some toys here. So like this. And now what we need to do, exactly, we need to create some beautiful toys inside. So you can you probably know better and your imagination works better than mine so you can create different toys for the park so you know better what dogs love but I will draw some balls probably for our park and I will take a paper and I need just to understand what is the size of my cover so in order to feed them so not too big and I will be drawing a bone to put inside just like this then I will do a toy in a form of hot dog I think that dogs just love it so this will be our hot dog and then I will draw a ball a circle and you can create different patterns and then this squishy circle I think also all dogs love them 
So now I will just color and you can make different patterns so it can be different as you wish. Maybe some stars. So it's just up to you. And I am coloring and then we'll cut out and stick to the cupboard. So just like this. And now I will make squishy toy pinky. Why not? And I need orange for hot dog. So I will use this one. And maybe even a little bit like orange here to make it taste. And now I will cut it and we will stick it to the room. So we are almost there. So just cut it. I will be cutting it just in the circles. So not to exactly just I will be making like ovals but you can follow black line if you wish or make the same like I'm doing and now We'll have to color this with blue. So and cut in the bowl. And it's really exciting, like when you create the room for the pug by yourself. This is just so exciting, guys, that we are making the house for the park by ourselves and creating the stories. Isn't it fantastic? So, just sticking the cup up here and we will put some funny stuff for our puggy and he will be happy to take and play with them. So, and you can stick them on the glue, but if you want to play with them, then you can keep them in an envelope and take and play from time to time. Or maybe you can stick them with um, tape and then use it from time to time and take and play. So now what I will just make a decorate, to decorate the room, I will draw a little picture of our Puggy's grandparents just up here so you can do the same or it can be bigger or smaller as you wish i will just draw a rectangle and um, just checking if it's yeah it's like this i need more space here so we can make it bigger make it easy for you to draw and any picture needs a frame so I will draw repeat our rectangle inside so this is our frame and now I will make it gold. So it, I will be doing like this. And then draw some shinies. i show you the secret how to create gold frame. It's very easy. So I will use then brown I have here. And it will be the shadows. And it looks like real gold frame. 
with some patterns and decorations. And now what we will need inside, inside we will be drawing grandparents of our puggy. So you know already how to draw a pug very quickly. We will start with two eyes. And nose and then go like this and then whiskers and then I will be drawing ears it's probably his grandpa on the picture and I will make boogers boogers for our grandpa and head. so and showing the body and now we'll be drawing grandma also we'll start with the eyes nose so and now ears and some hair for the rainy and then body so they are ready and I'll just color them now Puggy can be proud of his beautiful and absolutely small grandparents how Beautiful is the room is looking with this picture. No, no. Just to make it to pop up, Just color it in pen, or you can use your marker and now color the picture. So some bits. So they are fantastic guys. So we will color it and I will make pink for granny and maybe use red for beads and also brown of course. brown for coloring here and maybe a little green hat and we'll make it green and blue so there's the blue Just color it and now our picture is ready and what we will have to do is just to stick it to our first page of the book and it will be ready then so this is just the final this is fantastic guys and now we will take the first page and we will stick it together like this in order to keep it on one level and to open the book and then our door will be opening so I will just stick this part so I will use the glue and just stick it and we are creating some magic in our book second page is already ready and we will continue doing next time the adventures of our park 
and we'll get it then. A beautiful book, guys. I can't wait what will be next. Hope you too. So be careful when you are sticking together. Just keep it on on one level to keep it the door. So you just try to make it very accurate like this and we will stick it together and look guys what we have done we have done the first page previous time and now we open the door and look he is our poggy napping on his bed and he has beautiful toys here in his cupboard and his grandparents picture and the window and this is just fantastic well done guys Thank you for watching this video. I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And if you enjoy my lessons, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to share your beautiful artworks on my Facebook page, the link to which is below this video. Thank you, see you soon, bye bye!